Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Monday morning, my winners. How are you? Listen, you have to dream big, ladies and gentlemen. You have to believe that you can do it. You have to already be in a state of knowing. And so I came on here this morning to share with you guys on how to pray, all right? And so a lot of us, I say us because I used to do it. A lot of us, you know, we, we get on our knees and we start asking for things. We start, you know, thanking God. We may even start crying, right? Good morning, Sean. How are, how are you? We may even start crying, right? And so, um, Sean, I was just saying, you know, how, I'm talking about how to pray. You know, a lot of us get on our knees. We, we start thanking God. We start, um, asking for things and you know we may even we may even just cry right you may be feeling so emotional that we cry because we just want it so so bad right and so i want to share with you guys that you are praying the wrong way all right and that's why a lot of prayers are not being answered because you simply are praying the wrong way and so how do you pray ladies and gentlemen write this down sean how do you pray you pray from one already in the consciousness that you already have it, okay? And so a lot of us go to God in desperation. You can't go to God in desperation. And let me tell you why. Because you already have. You already have. So it's almost like, why would I go to a, um? how can I put it? What's a good analogy? Okay, so why would I... um? Sean, why why would I try to put new glasses on? When I, why would I put glasses on if I already had a set of, set of glasses on? Let's say I had glasses on my face, right? Why would I ask God to put glasses on my face if I already have glasses on my face, right? So if I go to God and say, hey, I need some glasses on my face and I already have glasses on my face, then it's like you already got it. So... Why would I put something on you that you already have, right? And so that's almost like, so that's just telling telling, telling God, you ask for something that you already have. And so you can't go to God in desperation and say, oh, God, I just need to be rich. I need to be rich. Oh, in the inside of you, you're desperate. And so the thing that is speaking to, to God, the God in you, is the lack mindset. And so you keep getting the very thing that you go, how you going to God. So we got to change how we go to God. All right. First, we got to realize that we are God. Let me say that, that we are God. Your, the God is imagination. All right. Your imagination is God in action. And so it's no God up in the sky. It's no God um, next door. It's no, no God walking around. You are God. All of us are God. Sean, I'm God. You're God. And so that's why when things need to be done on earth, God sends a person. He works through that person. And so what you have to do is, ladies and gentlemen, go within yourself. As if you already have it. Don't go feeling broken. You have to go to God saying, you know what, God, I thank you. I thank you for the money that you that you've given me. I thank you for the resources that you've given me. Lord, I just thank you, Father God, for my right mind, for, for, for my creative ideas. Thank you, God, for healthy children, healthy family. Thank you, God, for my beautiful home. I just love my home, God. I just thank you. And so that is how... You pray, ladies and gentlemen. You pray as if you already have it. I don't go to God and say, oh, I just need a million dollars. No, God, I thank you for my millions of dollars. I thank you that I'm able to open up my pray home, my pretty, real, ambitious young women home. I thank you that I'm transforming lives. I thank you that I'm saving so women, so many women and children off the street, off the, off the street, ladies, um, God. Lord, I just thank you. For all that you're doing for me, all that you're about to do, Father God, I just thank you. And so that is how you want to pray. You don't want to go to praying like you begging. You want to go to God and you're thanking Him. You're, you're. That is the law of attraction. It's just it, the law of attraction is God. Okay, that's all it is. It's somebody just took it. God out of it. The attraction is God. All right, you are God, and so you have to go to. Go pray as if you already have it, thanking him for it, all right? So whatever it is that you want, 
And you thank God already for it. You go to him as if you already have it. You go to him with a, a heart of gratitude in a state of mind that is already done. And so that is what we have to do, Sean. That is what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen. So when you pray, you won. You got to know who you are. You got to know that you are God. That your anything that you can think of is God in action. And so you have to put it in your mind that you already have it, all right? So one, know who you are. Two, go in prayer with it already in your mind that it's already done, all right? Don't go to God in desperation. And then three, thank him, all right? We thank people when they do stuff for us, right? We thank people when we do when they have already done stuff for us. And so because God has already done it for us, then you just thank him in your prayer. And so those are the three ways that the three things you have to do in prayer. All right. You have to first realize who you are. Good morning, Tiana. You got to first realize who you are. Then two, you got to already put it in your mind that it's already done. All right. Go to God that it's already done. And then three, you want to thank him for doing it because we thank people when they do stuff for us, right? When somebody go do something for you, you say, thank you, you right? And so you want to go ahead and thank him because when you thank him and your heart is receiving it. And so you want to always have your heart receiving it, all right? And so those are the three ways, three things you have to do when you pray. And so if you want your prayers answers, God, guys, I'm sorry, when you want your prayers answered, Ladies and gentlemen, hi, Maria. How are you? When you want your prayers answered, you got to, you got to, got to, got to learn how to pray properly. All right. And so go back and watch this video so you can understand um, how to pray. All right. Well, go back and watch this video on how to pray. So now when you pray, you're in that receiving mode and not in desperation and you can allow God to give it to you. All right. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I truly believe in you. I truly believe that you deserve to win. And so I'm going to speak some affirmations that I always speak and I'm going to get off. But I encourage you guys to go ahead and watch the replay. All right. And so I will listen to the Holy Spirit within. I will believe and not doubt. All right. I will believe and not doubt. I will believe and not doubt. I will create and not destroy. I am a force for good. I defy the odd. I set new standards. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment <laughs> shall be condemned. Every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. I am happy. I am humble. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I will never be broke another day in my life. I will live the fullness of life and get all that God has prepared for me. I am blessed when I come. I am blessed when I go. I am happy that I own cities. I am winning. You know why? Because I deserve to win. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. Bye-bye.